and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and Reviewing Oracle. We did a bunch of trades in Oracle and they all worked, but I just want to talk about the option here today. So again, it was a weird week with the market closed yesterday. I ended up calling a late trade, meaning later in the day in the Oracle, the 140s, and it kind of made a little bit of a move up here, which you could have exited the trade with money, but then it fell kind of fast um, and it expires tomorrow. And then it took a while to go, took a while to go, took a while to go. And then it, you could have got out of this actually Tuesday. So it had a nice lift Tuesday. This was before the Juneteenth holiday. Again, this ran up to 145 with the market. You could have had a good exit here, or you could have got out of this first thing this morning. So again, if you squeezed this out today or got out of it here, perfect. This could still be higher tomorrow. It really depends what the market does. But I think, again, holding something to the last day of expiration when you're up a lot doesn't make sense. This was a really, really nice call. The only thing about this was it took a, it took a little bit of moving. And I'm finding that things are taking a little bit of time to get going. I don't know what it is. Summer, not earning season. The market's so wishy-washy here. People don't have conviction. They don't want to go law in the market. They don't want to sell it. People are lacking conviction right now in, in their trades. They just, just are. So you have to look at what you're doing, assess the situation, put your risk on. And how do I do that? I rate the gap. So I rate the gap based on the daily chart. And this was a very good, very good golden gap. That's why we did it. That's why we did the trade. We went long in the room too. So again, I believed in this. I had 100% conviction. And again, I would have loved it to go the second day and go and poo the second day. It just took a little bit to go. And then, of course, we had the market was closed yesterday. So, but you could have got out of this Tuesday if you were watching it, or you could have got out of it here today. So, really, really nice call. And it's still above the strike, actually. But I, I just don't know where the market is tomorrow. And again, this was a good exit today. Um, but I'm sure a lot of people probably got out even here. Actually, Tuesday's high was 145.06, too. So, again, when you're looking for something, Sometimes it goes right away, which is fabulous. Sometimes it takes a while. If you're in something that rates good, you should be able to hold the conviction. And again, this doesn't mean every trade works. Some trades lose, but I keep my sizing consistent. So my winners end up covering my losers and I'm still up after that. I have more winners than losers and then some winners are very big. And this was a very big winner. Again, we did the 140 calls. So this ran up to 145 and change. So. If the market hadn't fallen today though, to be honest with you, this probably could have even gotten to 148, 148, 150. But because the market ended up tanking today, actually, um, this couldn't hold on. So very important to take profits and trades, very important to chunk it out. If you're interested in learning how I rate gaps, email me at melissathestockswish.com. The next Golden Gap class is July 13th and 14th. It's gonna be here before you know it. Right smack dab at the start of earnings season which I'm looking forward to as well. Have a great day, everyone.